I think you got little mangoes messing with yours. Normally, if it's a snook or redfish or a good trout, they don't they don't they don't it. peck at it like that. Oh nope 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 nope. Wait a minute. Just, they're putting it in their mouth and then spitting it out. They're spitting, not swallowing. Bad fish. Bad fish. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, we just put the boat in at Bing's Landing. We came a little further north than what we normally do. Um, we're gonna do some fishing today. We got some shrimp in the bucket up there and we are going to try to hit around some oyster beds. It's high tide right now. Um, after we're done fishing, when we get too hot, I think it was another day with an index of like 110, 108 today. Yeah, I know. The breeze feels really nice. Yeah, until we stop moving. <laughs> um, we're gonna fish until we sweat ourselves to death and we'll probably head up to Matanzas, jump in the water for a little bit, and then maybe head up to St. Augustine and walk around for a little bit. We'll see what happens, so. Do you have anything? Yeah, this was the route that we took when we went up to St. Augustine in our big boat that unfortunately sank. So we're gonna use our new Simrad transducer fish finder and we're gonna try to see if we can't locate what was on the bottom that we hit and get a better idea if it's still there um you never know never know never know so i got off of work kind of late last night so we got up a, we got a little bit of a later start but it's just now high tide um so it is. i think the timing yeah, what time good. is it? It's, no, it's noon o'clock right now. <laughs> noon o'clock? Noon o'clock. So, I love your... Hottest part of the day. But we're troopers. Yeah. We're going to make something happen. Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, yeah, with no tackle box. Oh, shit, I forgot. I, I forgot my... I have my offshore box in here, but I forgot my inshore box, so we're kind of... <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to... I got we, I got, got two poles rigged with hooks. When we lose those hooks, I'm gonna have to go to like six o offshore hooks for <laughs> <laughs> for redfish. But hey, you it's know all what? good. It's all about the adventure yep. and doing something that you may not necessarily have the equipment for, but we're gonna give it hell. Yeah, I thought I thought it was still in the boat from when we from our Steen Hatchie trip, but I must have taken it out. Oh well. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Worst case scenario. We'll just swim and drink. Whatever. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. Sarah's hooked up. I think it's just a small You think it's just a small one? It's a tiny little thing. Yeah. Let's check it out. Let's see what you got. Not really fighting very hard. No, it don't look like it. Does at it? all. Either that or it's just swimming to the boat. We'll see. Yeah, a little mango. Yep. Yeah, he's a tiny little guy. A little mangrove. It's probably a legal fish. Ten? Yeah, we have enough fish in the freezer though. I think we could probably let that one go. What do you think? Oh! Oh, he took my hook. Oh, that was that's okay, I'm gonna get it back. Yeah, you better get that hook back. We don't have any more one-o's. Okay, <laughs> hey, hold that pole. Let's see the grip that she's got here on this fish. No, I don't wanna just Let's see if she get, can get him. Alright, let me get that. See the thing. Oh, it must have cut it a little bit. Give me a old shake. All right. Ah, still have my hook. Good. 
Okay. All right, now I can cut some of that just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, they ain't wanting this. They ain't wanting your, uh, what was this one called again? That color? Yeah, it was the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody Mary. They don't want the Bloody Mary right now, so I'm gonna switch over to a shrimp. See what happens. That's what I'm fishing with. I know it. I wish I had a smaller hook on this pole. Well, when that breeze quits blowing. Whew. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find me a big shrimp for that hook. There's some big ones in there. Got a jumper? Out of the water. You got you another one? Yep. Goodness, girl. Get him. A little bit bigger? You think you're pulling against that current too, so it might feel a little. Oh, another mango? Another mango? Oh, I, <laughs> I said that. You'd poop too if somebody had a uh, hook in you. That's a nice one. Oh, let me get let me get up here. Oh yeah, that's probably a 11, 12 inch mango. Good job, babe. Thanks. Oh. oh, Sarah's hooked up again. You need to walk your rod somewhere to get it out of this bimini top. <laughs> that's the worst thing about this bimini top. It shades you but it is a pain to fish around unless you're in the front or the back in the sun. I think so. Oh, you got your little snook. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Good job, babe. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Bring him up here. I got him. It's my woman. Can take her own fish off, bait her own hook. Still working on the knot thing, learning different knots, uh. but you'll get it. You can lip that fish, baby, through the bottom lip like a bass. <laughs> Come on, don't let him get all you. All right, all right, a little bit of practice. Just grab okay. hard. Well, I know. Just don't get that hook in your it's finger. A, I know. <laughs> it's a, it's an intricate. There process. you go. Hold tight. Boy, he's slippery. And grab him like you grab me when you're mad at me. He's making a big giant hole in his. Yeah, head. they got soft lips like a crappie. There you go. Hold him up here. Let's see that snook. Nice. Good job, baby. Yeah. They're fun to catch, aren't they? Yeah. Who would have thought? All right, little guy. Later. And he dove in. I'm the only one catching fish because I'm the only one. Because somebody's been on the phone. Well, business later. I know. Sarah absolutely loves these oh snap pickles. Well, I usually get the chips, but you got the one big deal. Uh, let it go. No, it's the other end. Oh, why does it matter? Oh yeah, that's got the stem. <laughs> I don't trust you. I'm not gonna jam it in. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Delicious? Mm-hmm. Um, Have a bite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crunchy. Mm-hmm. What kind of bite is that? I had to block you. You're gonna jam it in like you did that. <coughs> 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 you okay there, fella? <coughs> <coughs> Last time we stopped and got firehouse subs. They give you a pickle on the side. I ate my sandwich, I'm like, give me my pickle, and stupid me, I opened my mouth, and she jammed it all the way in the back of my throat, and I about threw up on my steering wheel. So now we have this thing with pickles where we have to like put our tongue back there so it doesn't go all the way in. 
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> we try to gag each other. And we drift a little bit closer to this oyster bed than I want to be, but didn't stop that snook, did it? No. So all we're doing, guys, is floating live shrimp. She's got a bobber on. That's the one I never took off from Steen Hatchy when we were trout fishing, but it doesn't matter. Kind of keeps it out of the oysters too a little bit, which is nice. I thought I was snagged. No, he was pulling. That happens every time you stop to get something to eat, go to the bathroom. That's when, that's when they get you. I don't have a bobber on mine. I'm just kind of letting it go with the flow. I think I need a new shrimp. Mine started looking a little pink. He's been getting cooked. <laughs> well, the water temperature is like 94. I know it. This is by far one of the hottest summers. Yeah, it was. This, this summer we're in now was is definitely. At least it feels a lot hotter than last year. Like I don't think we had too many. <clears throat> no, we don't. I don't think we had any days last summer over 100 that I can remember. Not and we that. had two two days so far, I think, or 102 and 103. That's not the heat index. That's the actual temperature. The index on those days was upwards like 115. Really slack. And that's like north, that's like north central. Yeah. Yeah, it's been pretty brutal. But everywhere we fish, we can swim pretty much or we have a place to go. So it's kind of nice after you're done fishing to be able to yeah. take a dip. Trade me spots and you can just let it keep on going up around there. He's still alive. You know how I learned no, how to check really. and see if they're alive? I look at their little bubbler. You could look at their poop chute too. What, does it flex? That vein right here, yeah. it flexes whenever. Their poop chute flexes? Yeah. It pulses. Does it? Yeah. It has a pulsing poop shoot? Yeah. Huh. That's weird. I know. But your eyes have to be good for that. Yeah, I don't think if you're watching this video, you want to Google pulsating poop shoots. Just saying. Oh, yeah. Uh, fish on. A little better fish. Oh, come on. Oh, I got a stingray. Stingray had it. That's why I didn't feel him. He grabbed it and swam, swam all the way back with it. Never even felt him on there. Oh. Oh man. All right. Well, don't Steve Irwin me. Don't Steve Irwin you. Let me see those uh, cutters on the other side of the console. He swallowed it down. I'm just gonna cut it. Just gonna give it a cut. He swallowed that one down because I didn't realize he had it. Oh well. Good thing about these hooks they rust out and doesn't hurt the fish ordinarily you want some scallops <laughs> well now i get to see what kind of hooks i have in my offshore box if there's any small ones well I found our yellowtail jigs. So I'm gonna put a yellowtail jig on and put a shrimp on it. Because yeah. <laughs> the smallest hook I have in my in that box is a 5-0. And the hook is bigger than the shrimp. So we're gonna use this. I'm gonna put a shrimp on that, and that'll probably work just fine. Improvise. And people are probably like, you're an idiot. How do you create your tackle box? Well, let me tell you how many tackle boxes I have, then you'll understand how it's possible easily for me to forget it. I've got about four, maybe five. Got a, got a, oh, got a fish on. I got four, maybe five offshore boxes. I have two freshwater boxes and two inshore saltwater boxes. So I have a lot of tackle bags. He's a tiny little man. So when we travel places, we went to the West Coast, I bring different things. And I forget if I take them out. I'm just an idiot for not checking, but that's okay. Hey, it happens. Look at that tiny little booger. Oh, yeah. He's so deedle. Yeah, you're going to have to retie your leader. It's getting really frayed. You got you another little mangrove on there? Yeah. Oh, you got you a I got flounder. baby flounder. 
Bring it up here so we can see it after you get it off of there. Yeah, these, these fish are getting my shrimp off about as fast as I throw it out there. tail hook this thing maybe maybe that'll be the trick Let's try that out see if that hooks one there we go eat it Oh god, he got me again. That's three in a row. All right, let me do it, bud. Three. Oh, you want to come to my fishing spot? Yeah. Look at that little Look dude. Look at that little guy. He's so cute. These <laughs> are my favorite thing to whenever I'm snorkeling. Yeah. That's what I use my mini gun on. Yeah. So if you guys watched our uh, scalping video when Sarah was first getting in the water with her spear gun, that's if you guys aren't from here and don't know what flounder look like. They got two eyes on the top. Yeah, of their head. they got they two eyes the on the top. Like they lay flat look. on the sand, and when she scallops and swims around, she looks for uh, flounder. She's actually shot quite a few big ones with that little with that little spear gun. So because I'm catching a lot of, let me rephrase that. Because I'm having a lot of hits up here, Sarah wants to fish up here now. Even though she just caught a flounder, she's not happy with that. <laughs> Women are hard to please. Well, maybe I I have the special touch today. Yeah, maybe. There we go. He didn't get me that time. Are you recording? Yeah. It's just a little guy. I'd say a little guy. I think all these are keepers, but these are all right about 10 and 11 inch fish. But we've got a lot of fish in the freezer, so not too awful worried about it. And you have to get a lot of these things to. Yeah, I'll definitely take another flounder. Bigger one. Yeah. One thing about letting your bobber just kind of drift, you don't really have to cast very far. This is the already got oh a fish on. Oh my god. You got him? No. Oh, he took it good too. I know. You still yeah. got a shrimp on there, I saw it. Here I am, just chatting yeah, away. Not paying attention. I saw you caught your last snook too, I had to grab it. I know. Except <laughs> for my bobber. There we go. You got it again. You got him that time? No. Oh man. That was such a big shrimp too. Oh, got him that time. You got another eight inch mangrove? Yeah. Don't let him calm down for a second. Oh, I just squeezed him and he burped. Can I have my little guy? Yep. They're still fun to catch though. And you know, I, I just like being out on the water. I like being able to like catch fish and even if we're doing a catch and release kind of a day, it's still really nice to be out here on the water and enjoying my day off. I've got to go back to work tomorrow. I think I'm ready to get in the water. You ready to go swimming? I think I'm ready to head up to the inlet. All right, well, let's do it. We can fish this evening when it cools down a little bit. Okay. Are you down? I'm down. Cool. You think our shrimp are going to live that long? Oh, yeah. I'm good with that. Let's go. There's Fort Matanzas. I'll put a, uh, a little short thing on the video. It's 
exactly what it is, what it was used for, that type of thing. Fort Matanzas where you can get on one of these ferry boats and yes. they'll take you across the channel and drop you off and I think you get like 30 or 45 minutes over there. I can't remember. It's been a long time since we've been. Um, but it gives you the opportunity to go and actually walk around and, um, the fort and get in. What does it look like? What's that? What's that puddle look like to you? It looks like a like a what? No, it looks like a propeller. A pro oh, you just changed what you were gonna say? <laughs> yeah, that's not what she said to start with. What that puddle looks like, guys? You're a dirty, dirty-minded girl. Look at all the seashells. On, are they on the seashore? Yeah. Did Sally get them? <laughs> <laughs> Sally. Can you say that real fast? Nope. Come on, let's hear it. No, I can't do it. Sally sold seashells on the seashore. Oh, that was so slow. That was, well, you gotta say it three times fast. Oh, that's what my mom always used to say. Walking on the surface of Mars. Yeah. Are we having a fun date day today? Yes. I'm having a fun date day. I love date days. Me too. This is a really nice inlet. A lot of places to park your boat. The only thing is we're here on a weekday and there's hardly anybody here, which is why we like coming to the different sandbars on the weekend or on the, on the weekdays rather. Cause on the weekends, there is a boat <laughs> anywhere a boat can fit out here. So. And I am sinking. Like, look at this. I know. Like, you just stand there and you sink down. It's like quicksand. It's like quicksand. Oh, little bait fish. Oh, I'm still sinking. Yeah, You're not I know. sinking as far as I am because I weigh like 100 pounds more than you. Ah! So we're oh. gonna. I'm gonna do a quick little photo shoot of Sarah in the sand because she's the hottest chick that I know. <laughs> In my eyes, anyway. Relax. I just want to take some pictures. And I like yeah. taking pictures of her, so that's what I'm going to do now. Okay. Are you down? I'm down. Down for a sexy photo shoot? Yeah. With that sexy camera? 
with this one. Our beautiful little boat. Well guys, we were not able to make it to St. Augustine today. There was just too many storms that built north of us. So we had a good time swimming. South I hope. of us. And we didn't want to get, we didn't want to get caught in the storm. Why gotta be cutting me off film? Well, because you were wrong again. I'm always wrong. <laughs> so we had another dock. We're gonna do a dock fishing for a little bit, waiting for this other storm to go by so we can make it back to the boat ramp without getting in a lightning storm. I don't care about rain, but. We don't like lightning. So anyway, that's what we're doing. I had a really nice photo shoot of my wife. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. I'll put some pictures up. Yeah. Now if I could just catch now a fish. Now if you just catch a fish, this current's ripping. See your little bobber going by? But my, and my shrimp, those fish better act fast. Yeah, they better act fast. Better come get it quick. Trolling motors at a speed of nine. I know. Trolling motors are wound out right now trying to hold us right here. Oh, hang on. Waves. Whee! <laughs> I was hang on to you if I start to fall. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have my sea legs on. Oh, we're starting to drizzle. I try to get us just a little bit north of this storm. That's what I meant to say. I got us north of the storm. Correct. Yeah. Because there was more coming towards St. Augustine too, so. Oh well. That's Florida if you want, weather. If you want to know what St. Augustine looks like, go I'll to Google. Time. Go to Google and type in St. Augustine, Florida. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> and you'll yeah, see it. Pictures don't do it justice. Yeah, really St. Augustine's like beautiful. If, you're, if you guys are ever on the east coast of Florida, north central, definitely go to St. Augustine. It's a really, really cool. So beautiful. City to go to, really good restaurants, good bars. There's several on the water. If you have time, preferably in the winter time or fall or spring go tour the big fort because that's really really cool to see the spaniards built it from what i understand i don't know i went there like in ponce de leon sixth grade or something like that for <laughs> a... yeah it's a pretty cool place to see they fire the cannons for you and they do all the kinds of neat stuff yeah they do boy that sun is brutal oh, it is so hot but I think what we're gonna do is get the boat out of the water and we're gonna go to our favorite little bar in Deland and they're having a cornhole tournament tonight. Get my workout on. Yeah, Last get... time I played cornhole, I couldn't hardly move my arm for like a week. You threw a lot of sacks that day. I did and I was so good cause we were doing, my teammate was awesome. Yeah. Unfortunately, you don't get to pick your teammate. So I got, it was a blind draw and he was good. Nice cast. I'm telling you what, I'm getting better and better. Got my accuracy down today. You ought to be. You've been fishing with me for 21 years. Yeah. That's a long time to fish with me. That is. And thank you for putting up with me. I love you. You're my best friend. fish with you any day. Sweet. Good to know. Come on, fish. Well, it's going by them at 30 miles an hour. <laughs> this troll motor is getting its work out today. Yeah. Did they already get your... No, oh no, you it. still have it. I don't have any... Uh, I ate all my feet off. No, I still see feet. Yeah, but ate a lot of them. Whenever you reel your shrimp in and it's missing all its little legs, those are like little pinfish that come up. They won't eat the whole shrimp. They just come up and eat the damn legs off your shrimp. <laughs> How it can target a shrimp's legs, it's amazing. Yeah, that is kind of funny. What about like a mid 
a mid hook. Can you, do you ever hook them like through the middle of their body? No, I don't. I either head hook them. So in my experience, there's three different ways commonly used to hook a shrimp. You can either hook them sideways through the horn. The horn is a little thing that sticks out of their head. That's spite, that's sharp. Hook it through it. Or the, com the most common way I hook it is up through the bottom of the jaw and out the horn, or you can hook it up through the tail. So that's, it just depends. Did you get had I either again? got snagged or something. Snagged or that's had? Another, that's like, what, five shrimp in two minutes? Five shrimp in five minutes. I think you're going through a shrimp a minute. Oh, I see you had another one on deck ready to go. Yeah, I'm prepared. My favorite way to hook them is probably up through the bottom of their mouth and out the top because when you reel them in, if you reel them slow, they look like more natural and you have a better chance of getting a hook up as you're reeling it, I guess as opposed to it reeling it backwards. Does that make sense? Yeah. Sounds like the libel has diarrhea <laughs> when it drains through the thing. Oh, oh shit. Are you snagged? No, I got a big one. That is not a fish. <laughs> no, I'm snagged. <laughs> On that tiny little hook. So, oh, okay. That was really snagged. That's the horn. That thing is sharp. I think I might better off taking this weight off. Here, I got a shrimp for you. He was still flopping. Is he? He looks dead. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He looks dead. No, he was just flopping. My shrimp, on the other hand, he dead. Oh, that's gonna go down there and get me a nice one. There we go. Oh man, that was such a good hit. Mm. <laughs> and the shrimp is gone. <coughs> try try hooking them a different way. Okay. Try hooking them through like the mid body. Like, like in their right in their back. Yeah. In their arch. In the in the arch of their back, and see if you get any. I mean, I don't know, but. Like right through the middle. Today we're improvising and doing things different than like what we normally do. Yeah. And now we wait. It's not going to be long. Something's already pecking at it. There we go. Uh, get the heck out of town. It's a monster. Uh. <laughs> Hold on. Hang on. Are you tight? Are you loosening? No, no. It's the, it's the fish doing that, babe. Oh, my. It's look at it running the drag. <laughs> Come up here and film this drag going. Look at this. Look at this, folks. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at this drag. Look at this drag. Oh, my gosh. I'm just kidding. I loosened it all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> For this tiny little mango. But you know what? Guess what happened? <laughs> Guess what happened? What happened? You hooked it mid back, like I asked you to, and you caught a fish after missing like 10. <gasps> I hope that that thing latches onto your tongue. Look at those teeth. Woo, buddy. Bye bye. Hey guys, so we have some good news and we have some bad news. What do y'all want first? 
All right, bad news first. So the bad news is, is we had to leave the water early because the storms were rolling in, as you guys can see it towards the end of this video. Um, I'm not one to mess around with storms, so we made sure that we hightailed it out of there. So we tried to go back towards the boat ramp where we parked, but the boat ramp was covered in thunderstorms. And as per usual in Florida, the thunderstorms that are not there one minute can literally explode and be there the next. Yeah. Right, so, babe? Yeah, we had one storm floor north of us and one to the south of us. They so were kind of stuck in the middle. They kind of came together. There was nowhere to go. It's not like you're offshore and you can go around them. So you can either go north or south of the river here. And so we ended up docking the boat at a little fish camp, hung out there, talked to the owners for a while. They're really nice. So ended up working out okay. We waited out the storm and then uh, heading back in. We're alive to fish another day. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely alive. Um, but that was the good news. The good news is that we're alive and that we got back to the boat ramp. We got the boat loaded on the trailer. We're safe. Um, you know, there's some more storms that are popping up. Um, as, you know, again, just like in true Florida fashion. Um, but, you know, we look forward to going out on another um, adventure here soon. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to have to catch y'all on the flip side. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't think that my jokes are very funny. Um, but he'll learn soon. So, anyhow. All right, y'all. We'll see you later. Later. Bye.